ever wanted to dive into your own text? I'll show you how I did this transition step by step using just After Effects. No 3D plugin needed. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Robin, and today I'm going to show you how to make 3D text animation that I use to transition between these two clips. Here I have this uh, time lapse video and also this hyperlapse video that I made in Budapest. And uh, the whole idea is I'm going to write some text here and I'm going to make a transition out of it from this footage into the second one. So here is just a simple composition that I just prepared and I have the first clip here and the second one. So yeah, that for the ado, let's just jump right into the transition. The first thing you're going to do is write text. So just select your text tool and just write on it and write whatever you feel like. For example, this was in Budapest, so I will write Budapest, something like this. And I'm going to select it and change the fill color to more white. And also, if you would like to change the font or something, you can just make sure you select it and make it as big as you want. So mine will be 350-ish pixel. Okay, so just position it around the middle. If you can, you use this align tool just to align it at the center of the video so this is the basic part here so the second thing we're going to do is turn this text layer into 3d object by just toggling this thing and also we're going to change this render mode from classic 3d into cinema 4d and i'm going to show you why we change this into cinema 4d because we want to change this text into 3D by extruding the geometry options. For example, here, if you go back, go into the text and go to the geometry option, you can see that you have this extrusion depth. So if you increase this, let's say to, let's say around 50-ish or even more if you want, then you can see that the text is changing a little bit but we're going to see more that it has some effect and also i'm going to change this b b file from none to angular the next thing that i want to do is i wanted this texture to have some texture if you're enjoying this video consider supporting me on patreon you'll get exclusive project files bonus content and help me keep creating more videos for you the link is in the description to it i don't want it to be a plain text with some simple colors i wanted to have some texture so i already prepared some asset this is just an image i generated in firefly and i wanted to have this budapest kind of colors and stuff so and some designs on it so i just simply generated it in, in, into firefly and i have this asset so i'm going to use this image as a texture to add it onto our 3D text. How are we going to do it? It's really easy. Just drag and drop it into your composition. And after that, just make a new its own composition inside and go to your main comp and just drag and drop your asset here. And you can make it a big, of course, just make it something like this would be fine and what you're going to do is if you press right click you can see that this environment layer just click on it and once you click on this one it's going to let after effect know that you're going to use this image as an environment layer okay so now we're going to go to the material option and in the material option if you can see here the reflection intensity we're going to drag it to let's say 100 and as you can see now the text image have the same colors as the image we just put it on there and also we can adjust the sharpness of the text that we want to see and you can also adjust this and the reflection roll off too so just play around with these numbers until you get the right amount of texture around your text so as you can see it already really looks really good so what i'm going to do next now is as you can see our text is perfect now and i'm going to create a camera so that we can zoom in and out of this text and also we can use it for transition so go to right click go to new 
and create a camera and as you can see now the camera is ready and also i'm going to add some light so right click again and add some light and i'm going to add a pattern light yeah just press ok and to in order to adjust the light more go to the second view and this is make sure to put this on the top view so that we have a good way of looking at our light and i'm going to position this light into this 45 degree somewhere here and i'm going to add it to be something like this and we can adjust the amount of the intensity of light we want here if you just can reduce it a little bit maybe 20 ish is okay and that's enough for me and i'm going to duplicate this by Control d and take the second light into the other position to be somewhere here so something like this and i'm going to make it go a little bit and make it up okay this looks good and also reduce the intensity to somewhere that I am happy with the numbers. Just a little bit light is okay for now because I already like the results. Okay, now as you can see, we're going to go off this to, to the two views and go to the main view, the active camera one. And now here's the tricky part. We're going to make a transition out of this. So. I'm going to select all of the text layers, including the lights, by select them by Control Shift and right click, and we're going to pre-compose them and make sure you remove all attributes into the new composition and then press OK. Here, what we're going to do is I want the text to appear slowly here. So if you press T, there is the opacity and drag the opacity to be somewhere here around the two second mark and just completely put it on zero here and now the text is going to slowly appear something like this and i'm going to start off from the sec two seconds up to let's say around four second mark our text is going to come to us and how we're going to do it is easy just go to your here and around the four second mark now we already created a camera so just make sure you click on it you go to your camera and make sure you select this position xyz all of them and also the point of interest and drag this keyframe to the beginning let's say around two seconds let's just put it somewhere here good and now here if you press c you can see you can toggle between the the camera options and now i'm going to drag and try to go inside this hole of a it's budapest so i'm going to inside so just drag your text layer somewhere like this just keep dragging it until you until you go inside so you go more you go more and until it's completely gone so that's the whole trick here okay a little bit more and i think we are done and also we can change to the second view and put the camera more like this and for example this one we can change it into the active camera and now we see that it's gone completely so as you can see we're just keyframing the camera so that it curls from here to up to inside the text layer until it goes inside perfect this is what we want and if we go to our main comp it's going to give us our animation and as you can see it just goes inside our text layer and now all we gotta do is time our second layer so that we can use this as transition so how are we going to do it? We're going to do it an easy way using masking. So whilst you select this second clip, I'm going to duplicate it by Control D. And while you select the, this duplicate layer, right click on it, go to time and, and then freeze frame. And what this is going to do is it's going to freeze frame on the first frame. And I'm going to drag it a little bit up to here and 
even cut it till this new video starts here what i'm going to do is i'm going to mask this inside this letter so how is i'm going to select this mask tool but using pressing alt i can change this into this ellipse too so in this ellipse i'm going to zoom in a little bit somewhere like this and i'm going to make some ellipse and i'm going to mask out this letter to be something like this that's good and if we go back to fit and now this this is completely gone but we're going to keyframe the mask path because we're going to zoom inside so make a keyframe on your mask path on the first here and after it goes to somewhere here to somewhere somewhere here the letter no the text completely gone around here now we're going to make this ellipse even bigger using i'm going to zoom in a little bit and what if you select this ellipse tool it's going to select it and i'm going to drag this up somewhere here and also drag this to be here drag this to be here it doesn't matter if it's like a correct way to mask it or not it just just do the mask roughly it doesn't matter if it's too perfect or not we just want to cover this that's all that's what we're doing here if you look now that our this footage this uh, freeze frame footage is hidden behind this letter so it's going to but we have to time it perfectly so i'm going to put it somewhere here and also reduce the freeze frame here and let's check back again so here around the middle i'm going to reduce this mask because it's out of the range we want it to be in so we don't want it to be this big so we want the rate that it's growing to be a little bit smaller just gotta say yo slow down a little bit and and i'm just making a rough mask here i'm not trying to be perfect but if you can be perfect that would be nice but i'm not so i'm going to just trim our workspace somewhere here up to let's say here nope not this somewhere here and let's just try to play it and let's see what's happened see now the mask is working fine a little bit and when it's around here i want to end it and start here so i'm just going to cut it to be to align this way so now let's just pack from the full footage and if there is some error in the mask we will just fix it so let's start from here it just going it came and then it just goes slowly into as you can see this is how you're going to create this transition now it looks like that the camera is going through this letter and the other footage come and this is how you're gonna do but of course you can take your time to uh, time the mask more perfectly here it's just a rough mask but the technique is this one and yeah this is what i have for you today and i hope you enjoyed this video if you do make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys with another video and make sure to check this video out and until then love you guys